Hey, coming to church, welcome to our Wednesday Word of Encouragement. If you were to walk into uh, the Stoffer household and into our kitchen on one of the bulkheads that stands above the kitchen, there is this huge word written in beautiful script and it says, gather. So why would that catch Deneen's eye? Why would she purchase that word? And why would we hang it in our kitchen? Uh, well, it's because there is power in being together, isn't there? There's power in uh, gathering uh, together. We've experienced that power in our home and we value it. So we hang such a word in our kitchen because it's a good place to do just that, to gather. Uh, we've seen the power of that word uh, in recent weeks as people have gotten together to protest over uh, racial injustice and racial inequality. Uh, and there is power in being together to put your voices together in order to uh, stand for an important cause, uh, especially around the murder of George Floyd. But even more, Covenant Church, we are excited to regather. <laughs> there has been something in COVID-19, that a lot of things, a lot of difficulties, a lot of hard things in the midst of it, but one of those things has been our separation, our isolation, especially when it comes to worshiping God. I'm so glad that many of you in your living room have joined us online to uh, worship God, but man, there is something missing when we cannot gather for worship and why we are so excited to regather this Sunday, June 7th at 10.30. Uh, I am so excited to have you in the sanctuary. I'm hoping that you are excited uh, to be there as well. Uh, scripture attests to this power of gathering. It says in Psalm 34, 3, O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name, what? Together. Yes, together. There is something about being together. I, I have often said to you in worship services as we start that we are there to uh, give our praise and glory and honor to God. We are there to receive from God by virtue of his word. Mm. But there is power in doing those two things, what, together. I mean, it is good to stand in your living room and sing crown him with many crowns, right? And I, I hope you continue to do that. But boy, there is something to declaring the greatness of God uh, in the midst of other people declaring the greatness of God that we can see in each other's faces the joy that God has brought us in a given week in doing it. There's the power of gathering. And so as we uh, set to gather this week, uh, I hope that you uh, prepare your hearts uh, to not only see one another, that's good, but to be together, to magnify the Lord, to make his name great and to do that uh, together. Ah, so I hope to see you again this Sunday. Uh, be aware of a couple of things. As we uh, regather on Sunday, we will be observing the Lord's Supper. Uh, we obviously won't be passing a plate, so as you come in the door, you'll see uh, self-contained packets, and the deacons will instruct you on how to take those, and we'll be using those for communion, but I wanted to call your attention to that. Uh, just simply as we regather that you might be aware of uh, the fact of, of taking the Lord's Supper together. As we uh, close our time together in this uh, encouraging word, let me just uh, share from 2 John verse 12. Uh, at the end of this short letter, John says, Though I have much to write to you, I would rather not use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to come to you and talk face to face so that our joy may be complete. Uh, I love standing, sitting in front of my phone, making these uh, Wednesday Word of Encouragements, but man, I'd rather not use them. I would rather be face to face, that our joy may be complete. May we anticipate, expect the reality of God's presence and His power as we regather this coming Sunday. Covenant Church, I look forward to it. I pray that you are praying for that time, uh, that indeed it will be powerful and good and wonderful to gather together.